Yo guys, it's Daddy back here in my Minecraft server, wishing you guys a happy new year, though I'm a few days too late. But with that being said guys, in today's episode of the new year, we will basically first go through what we have done in the past year, our entire progress moving here and all of that stuff. And then we'll cover on the projects we'll, we'll take on this episode. So let's begin, shall we? So in the last year, we basically walked and boated our way to 10,000 blocks, 10,000 blocks. Wait, let me pull that up real quick. There you go. So we are at 9,600, negative 10,600 as how I would like to remember it. And we have gone through so many changes in this uh, base that honestly, you probably can't recognize it anymore. Like that entire island there used to be a sunflower field and now it's completely gone. So obviously the first thing that we did as that we came here, we made a villager trading hall and an iron farm which is over here producing iron really nicely and it links up into our sorting system. And of course, we also have our cobblestone farm which is honestly, it's a necessity for any Minecraft world if you think about it because well, cobblestone can give you stone, smooth stone and a lot of other stuff like redstone components and whatnot. So with that being said, we also made a little base here with Kiri got cut and it's uh, looking pretty nice. All the copper has oxidized after the longest of time and we also have a to-do list as well as a map to show us what we have done so far. So these are the projects for next year, uh, not next year, this year, which I will go through with you guys later. But for now, let's look at the map, shall we? Alright, so here we are at the map area and as you can see, this entire area has been claimed by us. This is the slime farm right here, which uh, was a bit of a mistake because I started this server on another host website. And when I moved over, I forgot to change the seed for that website. So this world right now on this new server basically has two seeds. The old generated seeds that have been generated the past, uh, the last time I was here, as well as the new ones which have not generated yet. So yeah, it's kind of confusing, but yeah, I don't know how to explain it anymore. Which is why this slime farm does not work, because this used to be a 5 chunk slime chunk, but now it's no longer a slime chunk and just is obsolete pretty much. So I will cover that up as one of the projects for this year, to make way for something else which you will see sometime later. So as you can see, this is our base here. We have two nether portals, one over here and one over here. One goes to the nether for travel and one goes for the farms, but well, you shall see that later. These two black squares are pretty much our netherite beacon. This is a full netherite beacon, but that's a half netherite beacon because, well, I had extra netherite block, so why not, right? Uh, this is obviously Rayquaza, as you can see here, together with the Pagoda. And this is the Alip space. This is uh, our iron farm. And these are all of our miscellaneous farms. So let's take a look at that, shall we? Alright, so right over here we have our wheat farm which we used to use for bone meal and as well as food but we don't really need it anymore because we have our uh, raid farm as well as our wither skeleton farm that, give, that gives us a ton of bones. This is our clay farm which is kind of broken because well I couldn't count and I pretty much broke everything. This is our cactus farm which gives us green dye. This is our squid farm that gives us black dye. That's our bamboo and sugarcane farm. This is our tree farm. And that is a bone mill, eh, no, a flower farm for other other colored dyes. This is a concrete blaster, pretty much con converts concrete powder into concrete and then blasts them with a TNT duper right there. And all of these have helped with my build so much, especially the Requaza, which needs a ton of concrete, which you believe it or not. So that's Adip's house right there. Then we have a new joiner, like recently, I think the past few months, Ivan. So this is his base right here. Pretty decent. It's Birch and Priest Marina. Pretty decent combination if I don't say so myself. And it's pretty unique. I have not seen something like that. The last time I seen something that unique was uh, Granite combined with Bricks. And it's Andrew and Jason's base. But I don't really see them come here too often. So, well, it is what it is. Well, there is one more person that joined the server. Or a few more, which is Nightistic. So check out his YouTube down in the link below. And he told me not to visit his base until he's done with it. So I shall withhold showing you guys that in the intro. So let us cover the projects that we'll be doing this year, if I can find it. There you go. So the map room is a work in progress. So as you know, the sorting system has now been transported underneath Rayquaza and the room down here is pretty much completely empty. So that will be converted into a map room where that map over there will be down there and it will be extra large and all that stuff. 
we have the fake lava lake and the fake waterfall, which should be in preparation for Groudon and Kyogre, because why would I have Rayquaza without Groudon and Kyogre, right? And of course, we're going to make a big S3 at that ledge over there, and we're going to cover up the slime farm. So let's show you guys why we're going to do it. So as you can see, the slime farm is right here, and in this big crevice right here is where the fake lava lake is going to be, and that's where Groudon is going to be. So we're going to have need, need a lot of lava. Obviously, I'm not going to fill the entire thing with lava. I probably would have like glass on top and put lava below it. Because having this much lava is, uh, is pretty much insane. But I could probably start a small lava farm at the corner or something to help me with that. And then over here, from here to here, I'll be making a fake lake. And I will connect it all the way to this side. Where oh, you see all the sand has been replaced with dirt and now has been grown over with grass. And over here too. So this side will be covered up. There will be a big lake in the center and it will be a waterfall that cascades down to the river down here. So that is a really, really, really huge project. Uh, basically a huge terraforming project. But yeah, I'll be curious as to how I'm going to accomplish that in survival, no less. So, well, we shall see, shall we? And that should be pretty much it for this year's project. And it doesn't sound like much, but the amount of work that it has to be put into it is insane. So I hope you guys uh, like this video and subscribe if you do enjoy the rest of my content. So with that being said, thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.